In this video, I'm going to solve this second order ordinary differential equations. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first one there, x squared multiplied by y prime prime plus 8xy prime plus 6y is equals to 0. In this case, we see that uh, this equation is the form of uh, cauchy euler equations. Just because it is uh, the form a2 multiplied by x squared multiplied by y prime prime plus a1x multiplied by y prime plus a0 multiplied by y is equals to 0. Where the a0, a1, and a2, they are constants. To find the general solution of a cauchy euler equation, we first have to find the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is given by a2 multiplied by m multiplied by m minus 1 plus a1 multiplied by m plus a0 is equals to 0. In this case, if we compare this equation that we are given, compare it with this equation here, we see that our a2 there is a 1, our a1 is an 8, our a0 is a 6. So we go on and substitute these values here into this form of the auxiliary equation so that we have the auxiliary equation for the given ODE there is m multiplied by m minus 1 plus 8m plus 6 is equals to 0. Then just go on and simplify and uh, we have m squared plus 7m plus 6 is equals to 0. Then we can try to factorize this equation here. Look for numbers which when you multiply them they give us a 6. When we add them they give us a 7. And those numbers are 6 and 1. So we have m plus 6 multiplied by m plus 1 is equals to 0. And we would have that our roots there they are m1 equals to minus 6 and m2 is equals to minus 1. So those are the roots that we are having there and those roots are real distinct roots. If the auxiliary equation has real distinct roots m1 not equals to m2 then the general solution is c1 multiplied by x to the power m1 plus c2 multiplied by x to the power m2. So we go on and substitute these values of m1 and m2 into this equation here so that we get our general solution is y is equals to c1 multiplied by x to the power minus 6 plus c2 multiplied by x to the power minus 1. So what you are having there is this equation here is the general solution that I have highlighted there at the bottom. I will now move on to the second question x squared multiplied by y prime prime minus 7xy prime plus 16y is equals to 0. By comparing these two equations, we see that a2 is equals to 1, a1 is equals to minus 7, a0 is equals to 16. So we have the values of the a2, a1, and a0. We substitute them into this auxiliary equation, and we get the auxiliary equation for the given problem is m multiplied by m minus 1 minus 7m plus 16 is equals to 0. When we simplify this equation here, we get m squared minus 8m plus 16 is equals to 0. We try to factorize there, look for numbers, which when we multiply them, they give us a 16. When we add them, they give us a minus 8. So our equation becomes m minus 4 multiplied by m minus 4 is equals to 0. Then we solve for the m there, we see that we are having a repeated root. m1 is equals to m2 is equals to a 4. So what we are having there, we are having real repeated roots. When you have real repeated roots, the general solution is y is equals to c1 plus c2 ln x multiplied by x to the power m. We go on and substitute the value of the m that we are having, which we are saying is a 4 here. We put it here so that we have our general solution is y is equals to c1 plus c2 ln x multiplied by x to the power 4. So what we are having there is this second order ODE is the general solution C1 plus C2 ln x multiplied by x to the power 4. I now move on to the next question. 2x squared multiplied by y prime prime plus 3x multiplied by y prime plus y is equals to 0. By comparing these two equations that I've highlighted, we see that our a2 is equals to 2, a1 is equals to 3, a0 is equals to 1. So we have uh, the values of uh, those are constants. We substitute them here and we have our auxiliary equation is 2m multiplied by m minus 1 plus 3m plus 1 is equals to 0. Go on and simplify and we have 
2m squared plus m plus 1 is equals to 0. For this equation that we are having here, we can't uh, find any factors there. So what we would have to do is we have to use on the quadratic formula, which says our m will be equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So in this case, we will see that our a there is a 2, our b is a 1, our c is a 1. So our m will be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 2. And when you solve for the m there, we will get that our m is equal to minus 1 over 4 plus or minus the square root of 7 divided by 4i. So what we are having there is the auxiliary equation is complex conjugate roots. If the auxiliary equation is complex conjugate roots, then the general solution is x to the power a multiplied by c1 multiplied by sine of b of ln x plus c2 multiplied by cosine of b ln x. So in this case, when you are looking at this m that we are having here, we see that our a there is minus 1 over 4 and our b is root 7 divided by 4. So if we substitute those values into this equation here, what we get is our general solution is x to the power minus 1 over 4 multiplied by c1 multiplied by sine of root 7 over 4 ln of x plus c2 or sine of root 7 over 4 ln of x. So what we are having there, this one here is the general solution of this second order Cauchy-Euler equation.